In this video, I'm gonna show you how I hide the mix bus pane in Harrison Mix Bus 32C. All right, so this should be a relatively short video. And what you see right here on the screen is the mix bus with the drums, drums MYC, which is a parallel compression a bass crush, which is another parallel compression for the bass. And then I got acoustic guitar, electric guitar, keys, background vocals, lead vox, short delay, long delay, short verb. But let's just say we don't need all this on the screen all the time. Right now I can hit shift H and that's gonna hide the mix bus pane. So let me show you where I set that up at. So if you go to view, you see toggle mix bus pane right here. And I have it as shift H, but you can go in and change that to whatever you want. So let's go to shortcuts. And if you search for mix bus pane, we have to go find where that is. So under common, let's check under there. So anywhere where you see an arrow, that's where you're going to find that shortcut. If you go to mixer, it's not in there. It's not under monitor section. It's under global and it's under common, okay? You can't click on any of these other ones because this that's not where it shows up. So click on common. Now at this point, we can say remove shortcut. Okay, cool. So as long as you click on it and then press the keystroke that you want, shift H, that's going to apply that shortcut to the task that you want. And now, all you have to do is just simply exit out and shift H and it shows up shift H again and it hides. Now for me, it makes sense to have it H because I want to hide something. So for you, you just need to figure out does shift H work for you? If not, you can have it be anything else that just makes sense to you. But for me, shift H is perfect. And sometimes I don't even need the short delay, long delay kind of stuff. You can go over here to where all your uh, tracks are. You can just uncheck those boxes. And then there I can still see my eight main buses. And then if I still need to hide that, then that's still hidden. I do have my VCAs over here, which is fine. And if I want to send something to my delays or reverbs, those are the last four of my buses right here. So I just know where those are at. I don't have to worry about seeing them. I just know like, hey, I'm going to send that to there. I'm just going to send. So that's pretty much it for this video. Shift H is going to hide. But you can always go back to window, keyboard shortcuts. Mix bus pane, and you can change that to whatever shortcut that you want. So, hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to smash that like button if you liked what you saw here today. And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. So, all these videos will be in a playlist so you can binge watch at your leisure. And until next time, I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.